circle. Now, Fallon, I think we have a last question because, of course, we're really excited about <laughs> celebrating yes. Women's History Month. Yes, yes. So I will, I'll go into our final question. And again, thank you for your time, Sheila. Um, so in celebration of Women's History Month, what woman from the past inspires you today? Oh, I don't know if I have any like big name history people, but um, definitely those that that paved the way. There were um, people like Sandy who um, oh, nice. showed, you know, as I was starting out in the public accounting field, like I said, um, it was predominantly male partners and we had a few women. Um, and I think it was, I think it was actually you leaving Sandy that um, helped open my eyes to there are other op options and possibilities that um, that we can choose and we can pave our, our own path. So I think that was a lot of it. And then um, just really all of the individual women that I have met that are mothers and that keep showing up every day um, for for this journey that we're on um, because gosh darn you can't do it alone <laughs> no no and yeah. I, I always say there's there's books to parenting right but oh gosh there really books to parenting because I don't think there's really one book that could tell you the highs the lows no and that was actually um that the part that got me to the mindset coach life coaching journey was we invested in a parenting coach mm -hmm. um and it was through working with them like we didn't have we didn't have major troubles parenting it was just we had two different of opinions coming together and it that was the first time that i realized like okay we we maybe had similar backgrounds, but even as um, two individuals growing up in two household, different households, our experiences and what we were coming together in our relationship um, were different. And so we just were looking at things through a different lens. And that was like coming into the situation, even though we generally agreed on the type of parent we wanted to be and how we wanted to raise our kids, there were things getting in the way. Um, and so working with that parenting coach, I got to see like, okay, we have two different mindsets here. How do we break down those barriers? And um, so that was ultimately then how I decided, oh, I bet this applies to money as well. And when you have, especially a couple, you know, two people coming together to share finances, they have two completely different experiences um, contributing to that. So um, I think, yeah, just the people that, continue to to show up and educate on this topic and and start the conversation mm -hmm. moving forward well thank you sheila this has yeah. been awesome oh one thing i wanted to make sure tell us your podcast name so we've got a yep. shout out for that yes the podcast um will launch it's launching february 29th so that probably will be before this post but um profitable women on all your favorite podcast players. Um, and again, we have that focus on females because they're underserved. And then we focus on profit because I want there to be something left over at the end of the day, not only in your business, but your time and energy as well. So and financial security is a beautiful thing because it allows you to make a lot of other decisions. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Sheila. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you for having me. Bye. Awesome.